Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 best operator mods in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Since I finished my operator mod reviews, I thought it would be a good idea to list my top 5 best. And also, this list is entirely my opinion, so if you agree or disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments. So with that said, let's get into it. Kicking things off at number 5, I have the Repeater Operator Mod for the ABR-223. What this does is makes it so that when you hold down the trigger, the burst fire continues and gets faster the longer you hold down the trigger. This operator mod is perfect for tactical rifles because normally you would need to time your bursts accordingly to take out hordes of zombies. But with this, you can hold down the trigger and use the ABR pretty much like an assault rifle. Overall, I think this is a good operator mod and it comes in at number 5 on my list. Next at number 4 I have the Bayonet Operator Mod for the Vapor XKG. The Bayonet allows you to one hit kill zombies with a melee attack until round 10. It doesn't seem like it lasts that long, but the Bayonet sure is useful on the earlier rounds. Not only will you get more points, you essentially have a Bowie Knife and Gun combination, two for the price of one. I don't have too much to say about the Bayonet, it's just a simple Operator Mod that you can reap the rewards from early in your game and it comes in at number 4. In at number 3, I have the Impact Blast Operator Mod for the S6 Stingray. This is personally my favorite Operator Mod. What this does is it replaces your bullets with explosive bullets that deal more damage. Although, sometimes you'll make headless zombies with this Impact Blast, that's not why it's number 3. You can kill Blightfathers in 2-3 shots with this Operator Mod. Seriously, it's that good. Here in the footage, I take on over 10 Blightfathers to prove how effective the Impact Blast Operator Mod really is. The Impact Blast treats them like it's just a normal horde of zombies. It tears right through them almost instantly. The only reason why this is not the number one spot is because the Blightfathers are not on every map in Black Ops 4 Zombies, so the Impact Blast isn't going to be as relevant, but because it does such a good job in combating one of the worst enemies Call of Duty Zombies has ever seen, it has to be in the top 3 on this top 5 list. Moving on to number 2, I have the Crossbar Operator Mod for the Hades. The crossbar replaces your ADS with a zoomed in hip fire that is honestly more accurate than having a sight on your gun. Plus you have more mobility when using the gun, making it feel as if you're using an assault rifle instead of a heavy LMG. Combining the extra mobility and the damage that the Hades does is a perfect match and it comes in at number 2. And finally coming in at the number 1 spot I have the stiletto knife for the strife. The Stiletto Knife is essentially a smaller version of the Bayonet, and this time it only kills up until round 4 with one hit. But if it only kills up to round 4 with one hit, why do I have it at the number 1 spot? Well, the Stiletto Knife is perfect for setting up in the early rounds. Think about it, you can knife zombies with one shot up to round 4, collecting a lot of points so you can open up doors, buy perks, and do really whatever you need to do in the earlier rounds. Plus, the Strife is a pretty good pistol anyways, so once again, it's like you're getting two for the price of one, just like the Bayonet. Even though this thing becomes a two-hit kill on round five, you should be able to handle it since round five isn't that late of a round, and neither is round six, seven, or eight. Overall, I could not think of a better way to set up in the early rounds. You rely on the early setup a lot in Call of Duty Zombies, and especially in Black Ops 4, so any extra help, like having the Stiletto Knife, improves your gameplay experience a lot. This is why I believe the Stiletto Knife for the Strife is the number one best operator mod in Black Ops 4 Zombies. And that guys is going to be it for today's video. What did you think of my list? Do you agree or disagree? Feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyways, like I said, that's it for today's video, and I did hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and join my Discord server so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that out of the way, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.